XODOS. Have you heard of it? These people are archiving all the DOS games, thousands of games, and they're making sure that these games are to their original, have all the soundtracks, the best sound, optimized with the shaders, optimized with the resolution, that the boot on Windows 10 and Windows 11. I mean, these people are doing the Lord's work, making sure these old school games and when I say old school, these games, a lot of these games started these franchises that we love today. If you think about like Need for Speed, Sim City, Fallout, Street Fighter, like a lot of the Star Wars games, a lot of RTS games that we know today. Um, it's just Doom, Wolfenstein. I mean, the list goes on and on and on and on. So many cool games. And so this gives you kind of all of them. It runs on LaunchBox, as you see here. So if you have an existing LaunchBox, you can easily add this to your LaunchBox build. And if you don't, it gives you everything you need, including LaunchBox. Now, um, I'm using the light version. And then as you get these games, it finds a download for you for the games. But this whole project is so cool. So we're going to start the video out showing you what the whole mission is of, of theirs and stuff. We're going to read the manual really quick. Then I'll show you how I got it all set up. And then we'll actually look through some of these games like you're looking at now. And then I'll play a game at the end. Checking out ExoDOS. I guess they're on number six now. But if you like DOS games, this seems to be kind of one of the leading uh, groups that are, you know, trying to kind of like the archivers trying to to get all those DOS games, identifying them. There was probably like a lot of small games, you know, games that had very small releases and so much more. And then there's all the the media around it as well, like the box art, the instruction manuals, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So it seems like these people are really trying to archive all that history which is awesome i grew up with dos games there's some fun ones if you're new to this think about doom think about wolfenstein 3d um you know fallout you know there's so many titles that we're still playing today that had their roots in dos so it's kind of like the uh the beginnings and so i'm gonna, just going to be trying out the x the exo dos v6 light there's a media add-on pack, so what that's going to do is all the box art images, things like that, the 161 gigabytes, and there's a full release. You might want to download this and throw it on a hard drive to have for your personal records. You know, we can help archive this stuff, uh, but 638 gigabytes, and let me tell you, that's ridiculous because these games are so small to begin with, a lot of them, so it just goes to show how many games they've, they've archived over time, so this is a, um, a non-profit. And uh, I'm sure they take donations or whatever. So if you're you're like what they do, you know you can always support their um, support their cause. It looks like they've ha added a lot of new. They're constantly updating. For example, you know ha helping it make it easier for you to put it in your own launch box builds. They added over 400 new games, and so this is version six. And I'm sure as time goes on, there's going to be other versions. Oh yeah, they do take donations. So there you go. Give them a little donate. Here is their manual. I love the SimCity reference here for those of you who know the SimCity box art. Uh, there you go. You get the lemmings there. Uh, if you're into uh, retro gaming, you, a lot of these references will make sense. So thanks to the team here. They do have a Discord channel. Uh, the story, basically, they were they wanted the full build, and evidently they're never done. Like Even when they think they found every DOS game, there's more that comes in. They also didn't like the fact that a lot of the DOS games you find on these Raspberry Pi builds and everything else are not necessarily the full game, or some people strip out certain things to make the file size smaller, or they compress them, and maybe during the compression they lose some, some important things. There's Commander Keen reference there. So thousands of hours have been put into this. Um, so anyway, setting up ExoDOS is designed to be as simple as possible. Um, Installation will take quite some time depending on your machine. Once it's finished extracting files, you'll be asked some questions regarding global settings such as aspect radio, full screen versus window, and keep your screen size. You will also be asked if you want to keep the adult games. All right, there you go. So there are some adult games for the time. You can say yes or no there. Um, so if you have an existing setup, if they tell you how to do that, we're just going to be doing it for the first time. Uh, right click any of the games in LaunchBox will bring you the context menu. Okay, hitting enter on any game will launch it. Pixel Perfect and Shader Options will give you the opportunity to launch the game in special version of DOSBox. Very cool. Uh, so it looks like it's set up to go with LaunchBox. We'll set it up in just a second. Um, choose your musical device. And then video modes. Um, wow, that's cool. They even tell you, show you like what it'll look like. Wow. 
big difference there with the 3D effects. Uh, controls. There you got Dungeon Keeper reference right there. Anyways, I'm not going to go through all this. Um, there's there's a lot there. So looks like I was left with an EXO file here. I got the catalog, the manual. I have the README as well. But uh, let's go ahead and just load it up, set up. All right, it's going to ask you this. You're going to have to click that, say run anyways. Let's do um, this setup won't solve. However, if you wish to merge combine. Okay, no, I just want to continue. Uh, okay, no, I don't want that. All right, here it is. It's gonna, oh, it does. It gives you launch box. Okay. That's cool. I wonder if you can use big box with this or not. Typically, you need a license. Um, okay, now it's going to take 25 to 30 minutes. Okay, I'm on step three already. That did not take 20 minutes. It was super fast. It took like five, if that. All right, and then this part, it starts asking you about, you know, do you want to run in Windows mo windowed mode or full screen mode? You know, what kind of graphics resolution do you want, et cetera? Do you want adult content? It's going to ask you all those questions here. And so literally it asks you everything you'd want to know. Even when you launch a game later in the video, it'll ask you like, what kind of sound do you want? It like presets everything up for you. It's just so, every little detail, I was very impressed by all that in this whole video. Blow it out your ass. <laughs> and that was their sound effect. All right, this is it. Uh, if you click on computers over here on the left, and let's go all, let's go back to computers here. 7,634 games for only six gigabytes of a download. That's pretty ridiculous. Um, as far as viewing, right now we're looking at uh, MS-DOS and uh, view. You should be able to, you could view as a list if you want to see more. There you go. You can see a lot more information. Looks like it's all play mode is set up, whether it's free will or, or commercial. Star rating, community star rating. That's kind of cool. Let's see what our fives. Let's look at the fives when people say you got to play. 4K, let's go back to view. Let's go back image view. All right, we got five stars at the bottom here. All right, Heroes of Might and Magic 2. Hell yeah. Uh, Master Levels of Doom 2. Creative Reader Collection. That's interesting. S Sword of the Samurai. Castle Master. Exodus uh, 6. And that's just the whole shortcut design to easily update. Okay, so it's not even a game. That's just for the, ver for the, um, for the creators here. Two screenshots. Cool. So I like screenshots because you can kind of see what the games look like. Um, gives you an idea of like the graphics and what you're getting into. But um, you got some Batman games, which Batman, Batman Returns, Batman Forever. Blood, really? Oh, it loaded. Oh, it just loaded the picture when you double click. Oh, I, I think I pressed the plus and then it zooms in. That's what I did there. Black Knight. Uh, you got Birthright. What is this game? Bloody White. Look at that guy. It's pretty wild. Look at the imaginations of people back then. Bust a move. So it's got 7,000 checks quest. I remember buying checks and getting this game. It's a, uh, like a Doom port. And, uh, you got it for free with your cereal. Command and Conquer, Red Alert, and One. These are good games. Commander Keen. Uh, Crystal Caves. I remember playing this game. This is a cool little game. You go around. Yeah, you got to like sort these little rooms and stuff. And some some things are bad. Some things are good. You got to figure it out. Kind of reminds me of like a really primitive zombie ate my neighbors. So, of course, you got the original Doom. Doom 2. Duke Nukem 3D. Duke Nukem. You got Dune. Dune 2. All right. Dune 2 is cool. It's kind of like Command and Conquer. You do got your Earthworm Jim 2. Full throttle, Scum VM style game. Really cool. Fairly easy to play too. I remember playing much, much younger. All right, here you go. You got Heretic. Really fun game. Similar to Doom. Kind of Wolf and Hexen as well. Uh, but they also have like Mana, which is cool in those games. So it kind of gives you a different uh experience indiana jones incredible machine and incredible machine 2 so much fun 
fun with your kids, fun with just, you know, yourself. It's it's got like cool stuff. You got you got off road, such a classic. Jazz the Jack Rabbit one, and then Jazz the Jack Rabbit CD. All the games I'm saying out loud here, Joe and Mac, like these are games if you've never played them before, you need to. Like you need to just drop what you're doing and, and check them out. The Lion King. I don't know if this one's as hard as the as the Sega version. Uh, the Lost Vikings. Really cool. Another game you can kind of tag in and out. You have like multiple characters and stuff. It's pretty cool. Mario teaches typing. Awesome. You can learn how to type really fast and it's fun. And then Day of the Tentacle, another good scum VM game. Much harder, I think, than uh, Full Throttle, but uh, fun. Micro Machines 1 and 2, really fun um, racing game, both single player and multiplayer. All right, I don't know if I've played this one. Yeah, I don't think I've played the Might and Magic. I usually played Heroes of Might and Magic, which is a little different. You do have the PC versions of Mortal Kombat 1, 2, 3, and Trilogy, which is really cool. Back when they used to do PC versions as well. You got the Oregon Trail, the Mech version, and then you have the other version here as well. well I guess they're both made by Mech, but I think one was like an Apple. There's one, one also on Apple, I forget. The Oregon, one's called The Oregon Trail. Oh, Deluxe. Okay, yeah. I think only the deluxe one is on Apple. Maybe I'm wrong. I remember because in school we had only had apples and you could only play. That was like one of the only games you could play. Quake, Quake 1, Mission Pack, and Mission Pack 2. Raymond, Raptor. I talked about this before. Really fun game. If you like Raiden, play that game. You can kind of upgrade your stuff. Monkey Island, another Scum VM style game. Are you kidding me? I've only gone like, oh my goodness. Oh my there's more and more and mo and oh my goodness oh my goodness super street fighter 2 was in there i don't know if you saw that as i was scrolling through uh yeah so anyways uh i i would check out like the 3d fx games for sure these are going to look a lot better back when graphics cards started coming out you need a dedicated graphics card for some of these games i would definitely check those out I remember playing these because my computer was barely powerful enough to play them and I would still play them, but, um, you know, they would not do so well. I think this is one of those adult games here. So there are some adult games on here as well. So those are going to be with the CGA composite. Yeah. So many games you can cut. So they're all broken up here. You can also arrange them by, you know, all kinds of things like, uh, even like a year released, I think you can do here release date. Um, so you would have like, for example, the King's quest was released. Uh, let's see on the right side here. Oh, at the top 1992 doom 1993, right? What is the, Oh, I'm in here right now. Let's do all the games. So you have your earliest adventure It was adventure land released in 1977. And all the way on the bottom here, we have Descent, which just seems to be some sort of like port. Somebody like port. Uh, this is like a fan-made game. These are all fan-made games. Okay. So you have some fan-made games that were recently released in the last two, three years. That's kind of cool. You might want to check those out. Magic Duck 2018. All right. Let's see. Let's see like a mainstream game. Okay. Commander Keen 8 was made in 2009. Some of these games don't even look that new. What's this? Dragon's Mandate, 2006. Okay, well, there, there's definitely a um, <laughs> an adult game in there as well. Beats of Rage is on here too, 2003. That's a fun one. Okay, so you can arrange it by anything you want. Um, I think at this point we need to go play some games and check it out. Let's try Heroes of Might and Magic 2. Oh, you got to install it. All right. So if I remember right, you always want to like buy, you always want to buy something, right? And you always, you want to get to the higher, you want to upgrade this. Captain's quarters. The captain's quarters provides a captain to assist in the castle's defense. No, I don't need that. I want to upgrade the, my main thing here. Let's see what each one does. Adobe. Adobe produces ogres. Okay. Stick hut. Orcs. Let's go with, and the den produces wolves. Let's go with the den because it's just $100. Uh, it looks like we can get goblins. 
Let's go ahead and recruit those. All right, so we got goblins at our, um, oh, and then you can always recruit, you always, yeah, you always wanna recruit a second horseman. Um, let's go ahead and give them those ogres, or orcs, goblins, okay. So, and then let, now we have two guys. Whoa, you can switch between the two. I wanna dismiss the army. <laughs> All right, let's just not do that. All right, let's go back to this guy. He's gonna get our gold. We're gonna have this guy go this way. We got a campfire. Let's um, let's make our way here. There's probably something in there. And then we'll make our way to the field. Sometimes it just gives you like luck, I think, or something. No, okay. we definitely need wood. All right, and then we basically have to end our turn now. It's day two. Ooh, I should have gotten that. All right, usually always go for experience. Basic estates, what does that do? Your hero produces 100 gold a day. Yeah, I wanna learn how to do that. Ooh. So there's a guy there, I don't think I can kill him yet. I only have 18 of these guys, so let's go here. Havelings with desire to great ability wanna join your army. Yeah, cool. come on, come on aboard. And then here you wanna get the wood. Now we get two wood a day. That's looking good. There's this guy over here. What do you think? Let's attack him. I feel like we've died. Okay. And then you always want to build something, right? So we'll do the stick hut today. And then you go to sleep. Oh. Anyways, there you have it. Really cool. Um, these are not all downloaded, as I've discovered. Some of them you will have to download. Uh, but so much nostalgia here. Really cool. I love what they're doing. I think you should support them. Everything from pinball, adventure, shooter, shoot 'em ups, fighting games, you name it. It's got them. And these games, some of these games stand up. Alien Syndrome, great game. Some of these games stand up to the test of time still great games and uh to be free and 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 it's so squared away it asks you what kind of sound you want what kind of resolution do you want that was kind of the big deal back in the day like when i was like oh i want i want to go pl replay command and conquer and you go in and you realize oh i don't have a cd rom drive anymore i can't do that right so i got to go and then you have to buy these like you know a lot of these companies have re-released their games in like digital format but even those suck half the time so this is so cool Love it. Thank you to Exodos. And uh, I'll put links to where to do that. And uh, that's what I think. Let me know what you all think. Don't forget to like, subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one.